there pedal people it's a pedal guy here how you doing today what we're going to do is we're going to take you on a quick start tutorial of the brand new head rush looper board but before we get started please take a second and click on that subscribe button down there and ring the bell so you can stay up to date with all of our videos and if you're watching this on facebook or instagram be sure to like and follow us so you can stay up to date with all of our activities the purpose of this video is to teach you quickly how to get up and running on the head rush looper board so this is a video that's going to be under 10 minutes. It's going to go over this, the basic functionality of the product, and we'll do subsequent videos that will follow this, uh, where we'll go into all of the nitty gritty of the product. So let's just start with a quick tour of the interface. So through the magic of iOS, we can switch to our iOS camera here. Um, in the upper left corner, we have our master output, headphone output, auxiliary input, and the encoder wheel. To the right of that, we have a touch screen. This is where all of the functions of the looper board are accessed. Um, and there are, there's another way to do it with the foot switches below to a certain degree. To the right of that, we have the inputs. This is a four track looper, so there is a four inputs. And then we have the corresponding buttons below, the foot switches that go with each one of those tracks. Now, the thing to remember here is that there is a stop and undo button and a record, play, and overdub button Per track. But as you can also see, there's a secondary function that's in uh, orange text here. And we're not going to get into that today, but you can see that each one of these foot switches doubles up as a secondary foot switch. To the left of that, we have the effects button and we have the tempo button. And it also there is a tuner built in here. Uh, to the right of that, or to the left of that, sorry, uh, we have the exit, uh, the exit button. Um, and we also have the loop select and the start and stop all button. So primarily it's a stop and start all button and secondarily it's a loop select button. So in any case, we will uh, dig into those secondary functions down the road. But for right now, we're gonna start with the audio routing. Okay, we've zoomed in now. Um, if we also take a look at the interface itself, uh, I've turned the master up and the headphones up. And I've also turned on input one, because that's where I'm plugged in and I've turned it up to about three o'clock. First things first, we wanna make sure that we've got our audio routing set correctly. So just go to the upper right corner, the three dots, select audio routing, and there you go. This is the audio routing page where you've got, or the window where you've got four pages built within that window. You have inputs. So you wanna make sure that you've got plenty of signal. So you get a nice loud recording. Uh, next, you have the monitor, which we're seeing signal there, so we're good. To track, this is the one that you want to pay attention to. So in track, this specifies how the looper board is going to hear whatever you're playing, whether it's on input one, two, three, or four. Now you can see that input, that track one here is already set to input, all inputs in fact. We really don't need that, we just need it to be listening to what's going on with input one. We go to the output, you can see we got plenty of signal. So let's go ahead and get back onto the window here. At this point now also, we want to uh, go ahead and rename a track by double clicking on it. And we're also going to do another guitar track here on track two. So we might as well just go ahead and set that up. Uh, down here on track four, we're gonna have a drum track. So we'll go ahead and just double click and change it to drums. Now, before we import a loop, what we want to do is change the tempo of the song. So we can do that by two, by one of two ways. We can use the encoder wheel, um, select it, use the encoder wheel, and simply make an adjustment. You can also use the tap tempo. So I know you can't see it, but you can just tap it out. At this point now, we can go ahead and select import audio. We want to select factory. And now at this point, we've got over 300 loops to work with. Now, the reason I changed the tempo is because I want to select a loop that corresponds with that tempo. So you see the numbers here to the far left where it says 95 light pop. That means that this loop is encoded at 95 BPM. So let's go ahead and select light pop one. Let's click on import. All right, there it is. Uh, one other thing we also want to do is we want to go to loop settings and we want to turn on a click. So those three dots go to loops. You want to turn on click. And what we're going to do is just set it for record, but you could do it for record and play if you want to. Also, we want to make sure that we're set to uh, one bar as a count in, but you can have up to four if you'd like. So now we're back on the main window. The last thing we want to do before we zoom out is we want to assign some effects. 
So we're going to go to the effects tab here and we're going to select an effect for the first slot. I, I kind of dove over that really quick. There are four slots. Each one corresponds to one of the four tracks. So we're going to select one for track one. And we have a selection of vocal, guitar, lo-fi, dub, drum, and studio. Uh, I'm going to select studio because I'm using an acoustic guitar, not an electric guitar. And the first thing that comes up is an acoustic guitar with a chorus. It's pretty heavy, not really what I want for this backing rhythm track. So I'm going to select a different uh, one. I'm going to select acoustic guitar medium. Has some reverb behind it. Also notice that it's set to input one. That means it's going to record this effect onto that track. So just be aware of that. Go ahead and close it. And now at this point, we're ready to go ahead and start recording our first track. So let's go ahead and zoom out and we'll get to it. Okay, we've zoomed back out and we are now ready to go ahead and record our first track. Uh, if we want to hear the uh, any of the tracks played by themselves, we can use the stop undo buttons here uh, in the upper row of the foot switches. And it's easy as that. Okay, at this point, I'm going to kill the mic. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now another thing to take note of is you can stop the guitar playing back while the drum loop is still playing back by just using the stop undo button. Just tap on it. Same thing goes with the drums. Okay, pretty straightforward, right? And now let's go ahead and record a second guitar part. And that's basically it. That's all you have to do in order to record some loops quite quickly in this product. Now, if you want to change the name, if you want to assign a name, I definitely recommend you save often. All right, we've zoomed back in. Now, if we want to save, just use the disk uh, icon here in the upper right corner, press on that, and we want to save new loop. So go ahead and save it, and let's call it first loop, and hit OK. And there we go. Now, if you want to recall it at any time, just simply click and drag. And now any of your recorded loops will be listed right here. Now, if you want to edit it, you just press the three dots next to the name. You can edit it. You can uh, also trash it. And you can also change the order too. So in this case here, we don't need to do that. And once you select it, there you go. Bring it right back in. Uh, and that is the beginnings of the Head Rush Looper Board. So in future tutorials, we're going to dig deeper into the effects and the different looping modes and all the other cool stuff that you can do with the Head Rush Looper. But this will get you going right off the bat uh, quickly and easily. So for more information on the Looper board and all the other products that we carry, please visit us at thepedalguide.com. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook or Instagram, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks and have a great day.